Hello everybody, this is my 1978 CB125S. I actually just got this today um, from my brother-in-law. He had it kind of sitting in his storage building. I don't know how he got it, but who knows. Um, <clears throat> oh, I uh, gave 100 bucks for it. It's in really good shape. It's uh, not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, definitely um, well worth the money I had uh, investing in it. Um, it's going to be my... Uh, kind of mini cafe racer project um, don't know where it's going to go or where it's going to take me as far as projects go but that's usually the fun of them um, as you can see the seats in really good shape no rips um, I think it's original still says Honda on the back um, that's busted and gone but I don't care um, I'm going to do something else with that probably uh, shocks going to go because they're um, definitely not heavy and heavy duty enough to one support me comfortably for a long ride and um, they just don't look cool so um, exhaust is probably gonna get uh, replaced with something I don't know probably from right on here on back but uh, the tanks got a few scra uh, scratches and dents in it um, like right there and there's also um, a pretty good sized nick right here um, but still shines really good I'm happy with it I took a little bit of um, Meguiar's marine wax to it just because that's what I had laying around uh, almost had the bike laying around right there um, but there's a good size dent oh, right in there somewhere. I don't know if you can see it with the camera. Yeah, there you go. Um, so I'm not really too concerned about restoring it back to uh, pristine OE condition or whatever. It's just that's just not something I'm into. Um, so there's the other side of it. Um, the side covers are both there, uh, both in good shape. The uh, decals are kind of getting a little uh, loose there or crackly or whatever you want to call it. I don't know, but um. And the motor's going to get a real nice polish job there in the um, points cover. Uh, and probably down here someplace. Depends how motivated I get. Um, shock seals need replaced. Uh, no big deal. Um, done a bunch before. I don't know if I'm going to re uh, reuse the, re the front fender here. There's a nice little ding in it. Eh, who cares? I don't know uh, what's going to happen with it. If I keep it, if I pitch it. Uh, only fate will uh, tell. Uh, it does have a little bit of cam chain noise. I did get it running and it got a little hot right there. I don't know if that's because the cam chain's so loose that the timing's kind of getting crazy. Um, but the whole motor's going to come out here regardless. I know these things had some top end oiling issues and some other stuff that I'll definitely make sure are fixed uh, before I go anywhere with it. Um, but it does start up and run fairly easily. I uh, got the fuel all changed and um, cleaned the little Keenan carb out and it runs good. Plenty of oil in it so. Let's get it running for you. Make sure uh, it's hard to do with one hand. But there you go. But that's it running. Really, way too quiet for my uh, my my taste. But something's rattling someplace. I don't know what it is. Um, you know, you probably can't hear the cam chain noise on the video. So anyhow. That's my uh, 1978 CB125S Cafe Racer project in uh, its very first stages. Um, if you want to kind of keep pace and uh, watch what's going to happen in the future, just keep checking back on my uh, YouTube videos. I'm going to be adding stuff as I go along. Um, I've done a, lot, done a lot of other projects with like mm, jet skis and God knows what else, but I've never YouTubed them. So this will be my first at the... Uh, instigation of my son um, doing his Lego stuff he kind of got me uh, wanting to do this so anyhow uh, stay tuned uh, wish me luck and uh, thanks for watching thank you